this video clip, I will talk about the growth schedule in a little bit more detail. In the previous clip, we discussed the information um, for the growth curve on this line here. Again, this indicator telling us that growth curve is active. We set the date to February 1st. So right now, the growth week, we're in week one. Because I click OK, let's go to growth schedule, option two. Um, go down option four, duration setting. So we are in, the, the start date is February 1st. Today is February 1st. So we're in uh, week one. <clears throat> but let's see what's, hap what's happening. Um, option one, this is the vegetative phase. So here is where you put in all the important parameters or what we call the set point for this phase, for week one to week four. You can set temperature, humidity, CO2, and the amount of light that you get for these four weeks. So let's take a look at the um, <clears throat> light settings. Click OK. This is screen for the light. Let's look at the time. And the light is set to start at 5 to 11. So you get 18 hours of exposure of light in the veg phase and 6 hours of darkness. If I go back and go back again, let's take the CO2. For CO2, again, day, night, and depth. Click day, you see 800 ppm. So in the veg period, you maintain the CO2 level at a moderate level, 800 ppm. So that's why you see here in week one, you see 800 ppm at the moment. And the light is on um, because you know, we're at 1051 AM right now. So it's during the day, uh, daytime period. <coughs> and at the same time, let's go, if you go schedule, let's take a look at the flowering phase. What happened once week five comes around? On week five, Again, temperature, humidity, CO2, light, all these parameters are custom from week 5 to week 12. So I'm going to go take a look at CO2 set point, day. You'll see its level is now higher, 1500 ppm. And let's take a look at the light level, option 4, light setting, click OK. Look at the time. It's 5 a.m. to 5 p.m. now, so we have a shorter amount of light exposure for the second phase. So 12 hours of light and 12 hours of darkness. Get back. So again, flowering phase, elevate CO2, short amount of time. Vegetative, vegetative phase, CO2, 800 ppm, moderate CO2, uh, and Light is 18 hours on, 6 hours off, so longer light exposure for second phase. So 800 ppm, week one, we in best phase. I'm gonna, s <coughs> let's see what happened when, as the time progressed. So I'm gonna go to week, uh, uh, option four, system setup. I'm gonna go to option five, and we're gonna change the date to a, let's say we are now in, <coughs> on April 1st. So it's eight weeks from now. Click OK. And home. We ask for save. And you see that it notice that time has changed. So setting has been readjusted. Click OK. <clears throat> so now we're on April 1st. So it's the system saying that we're in week nine. Okay. And the level, let's take a look at um, the growth schedule. CO2 just kick on right now, but uh, let's take a look at the flowering phase, CO2 set point, it should be at 1500 ppm. So you see the target at 1500 ppm now, and it wasn't injecting CO2 before, but now it's saying that um, the target level is higher, so now it goes into the CO2 injection mode. That's a little bit more detail on how growth curve work on the iPonic 600 series.